The most worthy calling in life is that in which man can serve best his fellow man. It isn't preaching. It isn't teaching. It isn't medicine. It isn't engineering, nor any other vocation common among men. Each of these, though offering opportunities for service, may be followed by men actuated by the most selfish and sordid motives. The noblest aim in life is to strive to live to make other lives better and happier. Browning sounds the keynote in Paracelsus when he says, there is an answer to the passionate longings of the heart for fullness, and I knew it. And the answer is this, live in all things outside yourself by love, and you will have joy. That is the life of God. It ought to be our life. In him it is accomplished and perfect, but in all created things it is a lesson learned slowly against difficulty. Such is the divine message given to the prophet Joseph in the words, remember this worth of souls is great in the sight of God. Such is the philosophy expressed by the Redeemer in the seemingly paradoxical statement, he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. The meaning of this becomes clear in the light of another passage which says, inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these, my servants, ye have done it unto me.